Uh, my session at the Indie Summit was called Different is Better Than Better, and it was about helping people use social to build brands and also to build their own personal brand. It's important for brands and individuals to kind of get their whole reputation right in social because it's, it's all we have. It's our public face, and um, brands are particularly good at ruining that reputation, so I thought it would be nice to... Uh, in what I thought was quite a fun, interactive way, help give people some tips on how they can uh, stand out, be different, um, not for the sake of being different, but uh, just to stand out in the clutter and noise that is kind of living in this world right now. I think with social and content in general, we have a chance to get back to what the people want, and that will be our salvation. It is really about listening, and I think a lot of brands start with this is what we've always done and this is what we think we stand for and they forget to kind of turn off those little evil voices and listen to the people look at the data and then make some really human decisions on how they should go forward with their content and their content strategy the easiest thing for marketing people to do is go into a really nice uh, reception their marketing hat automatically comes in when they walk through the door and they instantly think of what could we do that could get, make the client happy. And when you get into that mode of it's all about the doing the safest thing, the things we've done before, and that already puts you in this frame of mind of this is what we should do, uh, when the reality is people have moved out away. People don't even think your brand stands for that anymore. They, 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 they've like left you behind years ago. So I really think that brands are like slowly dying that aren't like thinking like a fan. The audience were brilliant. They hurt me so much. Uh, I did ask them to throw things at me for, uh, as the scapegoat for all things bad in real-time marketing. But they got really into it, d despite it being a multicultural event where not everyone has English as a first language and I talk really fast, they were great and then they had questions and then they threw more things at me, sneak attacks, um, but I really felt like, um, yeah, they were in the room with me participating. I brought them on stage, we played cricket together, it was, uh, it was nice. The Indie Summit has been amazing. It has been totally tailored to the iconoclast. Um, they basically said, wait a second, we could do a conference like everyone else does and get people just talking about themselves. Or we could think, these are the problems we have. Let's come at it from a really different solution. Let's get a hostage negotiator in there. Let's get some trendologists. Uh, let's get some idiots. Uh, let's just make people think. So I have to say hats off to Indie Summit because I speak at a lot of these, not a humble brag, just it happens. Uh, and this was remarkable.